get ready with me while i tell you a few random things about myself that you probably didn't know i hope you find this interesting the three talents that i have these aren't hidden but i guess you already know makeup crocheting and hair making i'm probably not a professional on all the hairstyles but i can do a decent hairstyle i can do braids full looks twists and i can do my own hair i know that's already obvious what are three words that best describe me honest kind and empathetic now i know a couple of people would say you can't describe yourself as honest other people would say that but deep within me i know i am an honest person like if you ask me anything i will tell you the truth like that's my first instinct all the time why do i always say the truth because i don't send your papa and i'm not afraid of you so whatever will happen will happen and i actually i absolutely hate being caught in a lie like it is so embarrassing and it's a sin so i try not to lie as much <laughs> why do i claim to be kind you may ask because kindness is the most basic human thing to do or to be so regardless of how someone has hurt me every time i think of paying them back my basic instinct is to be kind to them like i hate that and i love that so much about myself i also think empathy goes a lot with kindness if you are a kind person you tend to put yourself in a lot of people's shoes so you always think what would this person or what would i feel like if i were in this person's shoes so that's um why empathy works so hand in hand with kindness and i feel like i always just try to feel what this person is feeling how would i feel if that were my mom how would i feel if that were me in that situation so i always put myself in their in people's shoes and i always just think what i would like someone else to do for me in that situation and regardless of if people would do what i would do for them i would always do it because that's the kind thing to do what was my ambition when i was younger when i was younger i really wanted to be an accountant i have an auntie who was an accountant and she made it look so cool she was a banker and even the early mornings and the late night didn't scare me because she made it look so cool she would even come back home and zero transfer of aggression and now that i actually am a banker wow she was a superwoman because Sometimes I come back home and I don't want to talk to anybody. I just want to be quiet because of all the noise I have made all day. So I wonder how she managed it. But yeah, I wanted to be an accountant when I was younger. Have I won a trophy or a medal before? Actually, I think I've won two. I thought I'd won one, but then I remember that I took second in primary one in 2001, I think. And then there was this white man that was presenting presents and he gave me a plastic wine glass <laughs> wine cup i was so excited when i went home i think i was about four years old and we lived in our family house then someone is pet my area child so yeah i was four years old and we lived in our family house so all my aunties and uncles you know they had gone about their day and when everybody was coming back home i would stand by the gate and always show them that i want this and then when the person goes and i wait for the next person i want this it was so so exciting for me breaking transmission to tell you guys that from here the makeup can go down here or it can go exactly where i want it to go i had dumped this setting powder for a while this is from zikyo I love how smooth it is, but I don't like the fact that it has so much highlighter inside. So today, we'll try it again. I'm going in with the littlest bit here, and I just hope that it works. Hi! <laughs> I told myself. I'm going to see this makeup through. I'm going to do it to the very end. I don't care. I'm not going to clean my face and start again. We move. I'm not even setting as much as I should because the shan is scaring me. But I'm just trying to give this setting powder like one last chance. <laughs> The setting powder itself is great too. Like if they could sieve the setting powder away from the shine shine, the 
the setting powder itself has a very smooth consistency but i am all up in my head like as i'm applying the setting powder all i keep seeing is shine shine it's as if i'm setting my face with highlighter and it's making me to be all up in my head like i love glow but ah, not on this part of my face hey oh i don't know i see a lot of people making this setting powder work some people swear by it online so if this is you and you want this setting powder because i mean this setting powder is about 5k without delivery so if you want this setting powder you don't mind paying for delivery or you don't mind picking up i'm based in abuja by the way just dm me or comment down below and it's yours let's hope that this powder can salvage my whole face so yeah the second metal i ever got in my life was in uni when I became best graduating student, that was in 2018 and quite frankly, I think that was the highest highest honor of my life. I didn't think I could get that, like in my whole life. All I thought was, let me just try and graduate and, you know, just, if I get a first class degree, that's wonderful, but I was just trying to graduate and get good grades and then I got the best grade. That was incredible. I'm going to attach pictures and I don't want to hear any comments about how that does not look like me. It is. <laughs> have I ever locked myself out of the house? Yes, I have. So one day I was going to go like to a nearby shop, and I I was I don't know what I was thinking. I remember what I was thinking about actually, but then I I was thinking in my head that don't jam the padlock. You're just going somewhere close. Um, don't carry your key. Just jam. Just hang the padlock inside. Go and get what you're getting, and then come back. Ladies and gentlemen. What I was thinking and what I was doing was were two different things. I literally jammed the lock and then I immediately the lock went, you know, when it jammed, my brain instantly reset and I was like, am I going to sleep outside? It was like 7 p.m. on a Saturday night. Hmm. You guys, I, hmm. I boggled this door like a thief and entered my own house. You needed to see me that day. The way I was pulling and pulling and pulling. Um, I think that God just wanted me to sleep in my house because I don't know how that happened, how I boggled it, but I did boggle it and then come in. And since then, my lesson is whether I'm locking my house or not, my key is coming with me. By the way, I used this eyeshadow palette and um, this shade for blush. Let me use actual setting powder to catch fallout. I think this is a safer bet. Sorry that this footage is a bit blurry. I didn't realize that I wasn't in focus, but I really wanted to show you how black eyeshadow base works perfectly for shimmery eyeshadow looks. So then I blended it out, making sure not to surpass my crease. Now I'm going in with a brown transition color and a fluffy blending brush you can even use your face powder for this then i'm using regular black eyeshadow and i'm applying it on the outer eye corner focusing it in a wing like motion to make my face look a little wider and after stamping it i'm just going to take my blending brush and try to blend out the edges again and then afterwards i'm just going to use my finger to press on that gold pigment you guys can you see how sharp how pigmented that looks i know the eyeshadow has a lot of credits to take but using black base makes your shimmer pop too you should try it and let me know how it works so i'm using a brush to kind of blend out the edges and then i'm going to take that black eyeshadow and re-intensify that outer eye corner again and i always make sure that i kind of try to deepen my socket a little bit more so that it will look like i have bigger eyes hooded eye people problems i couldn't find my glitter glue so i'm using eyelash glue as my glitter primer and i'm using my finger to press this chunky glitter on my eyelids this was such a wonderful decision now i'm applying mascara and then i'm going to apply some white liner in my waterline things that sound like compliments but aren't you look pretty today as opposed to what other days when i look homeless <laughs> another thing is you look prettier than that's your friend I'm sorry, but that is so 1950s. You can tell me I look pretty without speaking badly about another person. My face is already too blue, but I cannot miss the chance to glue even more. You guys know I'm just glue. And this is Ezekiel and 
Fit Artistry Highlighter in shade Glam Girl. Just a tad bit enough. It has this golden undertone that goes well with my eyeshadow. Last few random details. One, my name Candy is not a nickname. It is actually my first name and it means honest woman. I know a lot of people probably know this, but there are new people on this channel who do not know that. So yeah, Candy is my first name and that's what it means. My favorite color is green. And those are a few random details about myself. I want you to comment down below about three details that you would like to share with us it could be anything random your favorite meal what tribe you are the meaning of your name just something fun let's get to know each other in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video you can let me know in the comment section below and you can also do that by giving this video a thumbs up and yeah i hope you didn't watch this video till the end without subscribing like that's very strange because I'd have thought you would have subscribed the second minute you were here. Please subscribe before you leave and make sure to check out any of my previous videos and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! And then I always say... Hey.